More than 200,000 trees have been planted so far on an extended site just outside Hergigo village. With a wide, flat tidal plain, growing conditions here are almost perfect, and Sato is pleased with the progress his trees are making. This tree has grown remarkably well, probably just in a few months. It's uh, over half a meter tall. And the color is quite good. Uh, in, in a few years, it will be a, a very large bush. I would say uh, at least a couple meters in diameter. And bushes like this in a hectare will uh, produce about uh, over a ton of meat a year. Right? And that will uh, contribute a great deal of money and, and food for this village. Whilst the long-term prospects for the village are good, Sato's workers have more immediate needs that can be met by the Manzanar project. As the heat of the day reaches full pitch, the workers head for shade and a bite to eat. In addition to providing these people with a salary, we provide them with a meal each day. Uh, and the reason we do this is that these are very poor people who come to work without eating and they work all day and then have a meal late at night. So they really appreciate the meal that we provide during the day. And the meal is a very simple meal and inexpensive, very little cost to us. We feed them beans boiled with uh, onions and uh, chili and tomatoes and a piece of bread and a cup of tea. And this they really appreciate. Also, what we provide is a social setting for these people. They enjoy coming together and, and working here and being together. Okay, that's sort of a side benefit. But it's like a social event, like women going to the river to wash clothes. They come together to plant mangrove trees. You know. In an economy that has floundered since the war, the work offered by Manzanar is vital to the people of Hergigo and to guaranteeing local support for the project. When they first come here, the people from the mangrove project explained what the benefit would be for the village and for people who live here, and everyone welcomed them with warm hearts. But now people here are even more pleased because they are being employed to help with planting. Villagers are benefiting individually because they are getting paid for their work. The plantation is not just improving the environment, but it's also helping our local economy. Despite the heat and 90% humidity, the work itself is not physically demanding. This means that Sato can employ women, for whom earning money is a rare and valuable opportunity. <laughs> Before working here, I used to be a housewife. After my husband died, my son used to provide food for the family. But since my son was called up to join the army, I have to go out and work in order to bring up the rest of my family. I had never left the house before, but how would they survive if I didn't earn some money? I spend my days working here, and because of this project, I am now able to provide my family with enough food to eat. In addition to providing financial help, Sato is hoping that the project will cause a shift in the mindset of Eritreans living along the coast. The Manzanar project has had, I think, a sizable effect on these people. It never occurred to them to plant trees, and that's a problem in desert countries because to plant trees or any kind of plant is unthinkable, and we want to change that mentality. So I think a great part of, the, of, our, of our effect on them is an expansion of their worldview, and we hope that this will continue. By encouraging desert people to plant trees, Sato is hoping to transform the way they see the coastal landscape and what it can offer, vital if Eritrea is to be rebuilt. This is one step towards healing the deep wounds caused by a war that left no part of this country untouched. In the 1970s, Hergigo was singled out for especially brutal treatment by the Ethiopian army. In 1975, 
The Ethiopian army came to the village. The troops rounded people up and took them to the center of the village, where they shot them. Everyone else who lived here managed to escape. In 1976, the rest of the villagers thought it was safe to return. But the day they came back, Ethiopian troops were waiting. This time, they killed everyone. They rounded people up and shot them. But they also set fire to the buildings and buried people in their houses. So many people were killed that we are not sure where they all died. There are countless unmarked graves all over Hergigo. No stranger to the war himself, Sato is planning a mangrove memorial to honor the people who died here. We're going to plant a memorial forest here with one tree for each of the people that were killed 30 years ago. These trees will be pruned in such a way that they'll grow very tall. So it should be a beautiful, shady, tranquil place to come and spend the afternoon. Without something like a memorial forest, the memory of these people will only be held by individuals about individuals. This way, there'll be a whole community remembering a community that is dead and gone. And the villagers are very pleased that we're doing this. Sato hopes the memorial forest will help people here remember the injustice of their past and give them a sense of purpose for the future. What it should do is strengthen their resolve to build the country, knowing where they'd come from and what uh, calamities and disasters they had experienced. Uh, this, the young people should not forget this and should know that this should be a great boost for, for going forward and building a good country. Sato's work in Eritrea has earned him a Rolex Award for Enterprise and shown how ingenuity and perseverance can help countries capitalize on their natural resources. His hope is that the mangrove tree will transform desert coastlines across the globe and eradicate the problems of poverty and famine in the developing world. Sato is using the village of Hergigo as a blueprint for how the project can feed a whole country and help people change the way they use the landscape. The aims of the Manzanar project uh, is to have a country and the local populace with the skills to create food and wealth for themselves. Because what we're planning to do is plant the entire coast with mangrove trees and grasses and feed animals. We can't do it ourselves. What we need is local people to do it and take the initiative to start this kind of work. Then it will be carried on forever. It'll be part of their daily routine in life.